my dear students welcome back to this mini hs school i believe you are all happy and safe at home once again welcome you all back to this social studies class today we are going to start a new lesson that is chapter 9 local self government we are going to start a new chapter named local self government we know that the government is divided into three levels that is central government state government and local self government have you ever remembered about this any reminding about this no okay in grade 3 you have a lesson named our government in grade 3 you have a lesson named our government there we can study levels of government that is state government central government and local self government the order is like central state and local self government so in your lesson lesson 9 that is in grade 4 you are going to see in detail about local self government so our direct contact is always with local self government so we are going to see detail about local self government from this chapter chapter 9 let's get into the class now let's do reading as well as explaining part together okay let's read please take page number 83 in your students book social study students book page number 83 Okay, we know that India is a big country. Therefore, governing bodies at the central, state, and local level look after the various problems related to our country. In this chapter, we will read about how the local government looks after the needs of the people in villages, towns, and cities. That I explained earlier. Next to para. The central government's role is to protect the country's wealth, build railways and look after the union territories. The state governments look after the needs of their respective states. It is difficult for the central and the state governments to look after the people at the local level. Hence, a local self-government is formed by the people living in villages, towns and cities. This we saw in introduction. Okay, let's move to the governance in villages. Governance in villages. The local government at the village level is called the gram panchayat. So it's called like gram panchayat. Gram panchayat. A panchayat is a group of five members that looks after the needs of the people living in the village. So. Grama Panchayat is of group of five members, five people. The members of the Grama Panchayat are chosen by the villagers who are eighteen years old and above. So eighteen and old and above. This is like a uh, like voting system. Next, a sarpanch head is elected by the panchayat. The panchayat functions for a period of five years. The government has passed a rule which states that one third of the members of the panchayat must be women. There are panchayat members like five members. I said you right. So one third is should be women. That was the logic. And then who can vote? Eighteen years and oh and above can. Vote and select the village members, like uh, panchayat members. The panda, the panchayat meets every now and then to discuss important matters related to the village members of the panchayat. Discuss problems and to find solutions. Another one important thing is panchayat will not talk about state or central government issues. They only talk about the problem what they see around them. That's all. Like the main duties of the gram panchayat are as follows. to look after the cleanliness of the village they have to take care of their surroundings that is cleanliness hygiene to provide clean drinking water they have to provide clean drinking water to the villagers village people to dig wells construct roads and set up medical and health centers not hospitals centers a small kind of uh, like in tamil uses rm bus gadar nilayam so small uh, the small kind of health centers they can make and then they can dig wells for the water facility construct roads that runs inside the village 
and like uh, that's I, uh, that we already see like medical and health centers to solve conflicts between people in the village just another important thing is for small small things for small small conflicts village members can even solve the problem or like a small land problems those small things they can handle like murders and theft it's, it's something big that village members cannot handle grandma panchayat will not do that they'll move for the next step but for the basic levels this can do by grama panchayat so this is all about governance in villages all about grama panchayat next is governance in towns and cities now the local governing bodies in towns and cities are the municipalities and municipal corporations so there we saw that the governing of the village is called by grama panchayat and here for towns and cities the word differs that is municipalities and municipal corporations municipalities and municipal corporation municipalities look after the needs of the people in the towns municipalities are also called nagarpalika and nagarnigam so municipalities will take care of the things that around the Town, towns, municipalities are also called by Nagar Palika. That the word Nagar Palika or Nagar Nika. This is not the English word. I think it's most probably it will be some Hindi word. Next, cities with a population of over ten lakh are looked after by the municipal corporations. See, why it differs? Municipal corporations and municipalities. So towns are taken care of by. municipalities and municipal corporation to look after cities that is different right town and cities so town that take care of by municipalities and municipal corporation will take care of care of cities so they have given you some example cities mumbai delhi kolkata chennai bangalore hyderabad ahmedabad and pune have municipal corporation they are also known as mahanagar palika and mahanagar nigam so here uh, for town they are used to call like nagar palika and nagar nigam and for like uh, cities mahanagar palika or mahanagar nigam the head of the municipal corporation is called the mayor so head of the municipal corporation each city have a head right he is known as mayor next towns and cities are divided into wards according to their population people who are above the age of 18 years elect the members of the municipalities and municipal corporations the members are elected for a period of 5 years there to we saw that grama panchayat members can be elected for the duration of 5 years they can be selected like a five members here one third of the members should be women yeah like the same five years process but here the term is called by mayor for village the term is called by sarpanch here the word is mayor it's a english word and then who can elect the people who is above 18 and above can elect the mayor so this is all about municipal corporation the same followed by municipal corporation people as well as municipalities the same setup so the responsibilities what and all things the municipalities and municipal corporations should take care of yes the similar to village is similar to but the, the term and the reaching level will be different to maintain roads schools and public transports they can maintain public transports too next to provide electricity and clean drinking water to keep the cities and towns clean to ensure proper disposal of waste to set up the health centers public toilets and public parks to keep an account of births and deaths the same 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 the same thing like a village the level may different like a village may be have only a um, like a average of 1 lakh people in a sense a town and cities more than 10 lakh people right so more than the, the level of um, arranging and like uh, governing people differs in village and town but not the proper regulations okay the regulations and the responsibility remains same but the level of people they are handling differs so then does the local government reduces this responsibility of the state and central governments 
the local government provides with the basic needs of the people more directly so for any prepare some problems or basic problems we cannot go to central government so this local self government is reducing the responsibility of state and central they are take care, taking care of the small small things and then uh, for the big things and the big related things they may pass the case towards the state government state if we, if state governments cannot handle that case in this name and pass to the central government this is the process local self government is more like basic needs basic needs of the people so this is all about the lesson and uh, what to know here panchayat in the sense a government which functions at the village level mayor the head of the local government in a city ward an area into which a city or town is divided so dividing city or town is known as ward dividing the city or town is known as ward so this is all about the lesson so let's we re let's recall what we have learned Okay, students. Let's recall what we have learned in this chapter. Okay, so let's see that. First thing is local self-government is divided into three levels. The second uh, and third is merged together, but the thing is three levels. Let's think about this. Local self-government is divided into three levels. Once again, government is divided into three levels. That is. Central government, state government, local self government. Our chapter is local self government. Local self government again divided into three levels. That is village, town, and cities. Village, town, and cities. Here, village already stands alone. Town and cities march together. Fine. About village. The head of the village is Gram Panchayat. Have you ever heard of that? Panchayat, Gram Panchayat, and head of the Gram Panchayat will be Sarpanch. His name is Sarpanch. Used to say like a call like that, Sarpanch. And then town and cities in the thing that's messed together for what? Yes, the the people or a governing party, the government which rule, like a local self government, in the name of. Municipal corporations or municipalities. The name for local self government that's governing town and cities are called by municipal corporation or municipalities. The government which is governing village in the name of local self government is Gram Panchayat. The name of government, the name differs from place to place, right? Likewise, a village is known as Gram Panchayat. And town and city is known as municipal corporations and municipalities or municipalities. That's all about that. So here, what are the duties? What are the work will a uh, grama panchayat will do? And you can see here, they can provide us clean drinking water. One of the important things we cannot go to central government or state government for. Uh, our needs, basic needs. So the direct we directly, if we are living in village, we go for Grama Panchayat. If we are living in town, we go for municipal corporation or municipalities. If we are living in cities, again we go for municipal corporation or municipalities. So they can, well, now let's see about Grama Panchayat. So Grama Panchayat can provide clean drinking water. First thing. Next. They can construct roads, roads, little small roads. Like they can make little constructions there. That's what Grama Panchayat can do. Can give clean drinking water and can construct roads and small buildings. And next is they can solve small conflicts between people. They can solve small conflicts between people. Let's move to the municipal. Already have studied that in detail in lesson. The explanation is clear. This is only recall part. Next is actually municipal corporations. Municipal corporation or municipality. The thing is first is maintenance of road, schools and public transport. 
If there is some problem in road or schools, government schools or government buses, the people, the people who are running behind it will be municipal corporation people or municipality people. Next, they'll provide us electricity. They'll provide us electricity. Next, they can provide us clean drinking water. Clean drinking water. Next, they can construct small, small health centers in the area. They can construct small, small health centers in the towns or cities. And they can construct parts. There is no allowance for uh, Rama Panchayat people. Municipal people can do that. Like they can construct what? Parks and health centers and small, small things they can construct. That village panchayat is like a little more lower to municipal corporation and municipality. So we recall the lesson. So this is all about this chapter. You can ask me your doubts through Zoom or else you can call me and ask me your doubts. So thank you children. Take care. Bye-bye.